Hey, it's time to do a faith check on each and every one of us again. Um, I was reading the book of James, and um, James, the brother of Jesus, says this. Faith without works is dead, right? When we have a faith, our faith should spur us to do works, right? We can do works and have no faith and not be close to God, have no relationship with Jesus, right? But if we say that we have a faith, then that faith should move us to become involved. You know, we look at Jesus's life and everything he did, he did with a purpose, right? He went out and he mingled with not just the Pharisees and the religious elite from the temples and the synagogues, but he went out and he worked with people on the streets. He worked with the outcasts of that culture. He worked with the lepers, the blind, the lame, women, children, right, aliens. He worked with all of these types of people that were considered outsiders. He worked with sinners. He worked with the prostitutes. He worked with tax collectors who were considered the worst of the worst. He considered them as people, and he got involved in their lives, all of them, and he worked with them. He healed. He taught. He spent time, right? And instead of shunning these people like they were so much of the time, he got involved with them and worked with them. As followers of Christ, what is our faith leading us to do? If we just go to church one hour a week and sit in a pew and get up and go, wow, that was awesome, and then go about our week and do nothing, what is our faith doing? Jesus called the disciples and said, go out and make disciples of all the nations, right? Preach the good news, baptize in my name, and bring new disciples into the faith. When we say that we have faith, then we need to reach outside what we think we can do, go where Jesus leads us, where the Spirit moves us to go, and get involved. Get involved in some ministry somewhere. Get involved working with children, with teenagers, with the elderly, with the addicted, with the homeless. Get involved in some ministry in your church with choir or a teenage ministry. I cannot even tell you how important it is for us to get involved in the lives of teenagers right now. There is so much stuff going on in this world right now that we never had to deal with, my age bracket, that these teenagers are dealing with right now. It is a huge ministry and it is lacking people who want to be involved. So if you feel that, that urge, that tug, that whisper to get involved with teenagers or with children or some other ministry somewhere, don't think that, oh, well, you know, maybe somebody else will do it. No, because the Holy Spirit is moving you. And when our faith is working and alive, we get involved because faith without action is dead. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.